happening. Dead people do not come back to life. Rebecca, haven't you noticed what's been going on in Harmony the past few years? I mean, first, there was a plague of birds, and, and, and then there was a comet hurtling towards Harmony that almost destroyed the town, and then Sam and Grace's house being sucked into the ground, and, and Sam and Ethan and practically every other man in town battling demons. You know, when you think about it, a dead person coming back to life is hardly even extraordinary. Well, I don't care about any of that stuff. You know, besides, that could be explained by, by mass hysteria. Yeah, I, I, and so could this. So could this. We, we could be just letting our imaginations run wild, because because we're... Okay, I admit it. I feel guilty about what we did to Teresa. Yeah, well, I know I do. Yeah. You know, what we need to do is try to calm down, try to get a hold of ourselves. Yes, you're right, we do. Do you still carry two of those? Oh, oh, yeah. Where did you go? <laughs> we were just starting the party. <laughs> I could hear you all over the house, and you're keeping the baby awake. The baby? What? Ba uh, oh, 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 Teresa's baby. I, I, I forgot he was here. Oh, dear God, you two are drunk. Have you no respect at all? My daughter is lying in her coffin in there. Are you sure? I mean, did you see her just now in her coffin? Of course I did. We all did at the wake. No, no, no. She means just now. Wait, why are you so concerned about whether or not I saw my daughter in her coffin? Oh, dear God. You've done something to her body. You've done something to my little girl, haven't no, you? No, no, Pilar. I swear, if you have, I will kill both of you right now. No, Pilar, we haven't done anything like that. Then why are you acting so nervous? Why are you running around screaming like you're being chased by the devil himself? Oh, 